just to seeing sports later in our half hour, but today huge news out of Jackson State. Noah Newman is with us now and explains that the school is parting ways with its football coach. Yeah. Noah? What really came out of left field? John Hendrick out as head coach after just one full season at the helm. Now his contract will not be renewed. AD Ashley Robinson says a change in leadership is in the best interest of the program. Hendrick went 2-1 and one as the interim head coach in 2018, got the full-time gig, then went 4-8 and eight in his only full season. It was really kind of a roller coaster ride of a season. Uh, definitely surprising. He was on our SWAC roundtable last month and was excited for the future of the program. Seemed ready to roll for the spring. And I'll say this, John Hendrick is a class act. Always available for a comment. He was one of the first guys I met when I moved here, made me feel right at home, told me all the good places to eat and whether or not my Cleveland Browns were on track for a Super Bowl. Spoiler alert, they were not. Um, coach tells me he was stunned by this news, saying, quote, I wasn't expecting this, really shocked, to be honest, but it's the nature of the business I work in. This is obviously God's will for my life, so I trust his plan. I caught up with JSU legend Eddie Payton earlier today for his thoughts on the move. In order to build a dynasty, it takes time and it takes patience, and it takes money. And at this point, uh, we haven't given them enough time, we haven't shown enough patience to give them a chance to recruit and bring in people, and we certainly haven't given him the facilities that he's competing against uh, for the talent in this state. If you bring a guy into the Atlantic Ocean and throw him out in the Atlantic Ocean, the same thing is going to happen to him that happened to the two previous guys you thrown out into the Atlantic Ocean without a life preserver. Again, as an athlete and as a former coach, I know the most important thing that you can have when you're trying to recruit is facilities. So Peyton says facilities are the key. Catch the full interview on our website. T.C. Taylor and Otis Ridley will take over as interim head coaches. In the meantime, Taylor was promoted to offensive coordinator during the offseason. He played QB and receiver at JSU from 98 to 2001. And he told us back in February, coaching at his alma mater was a dream come true. I think we got the pieces in place. You know, we wasn't a necessarily bad offense, but we just got some tweaks here and there we got to get better at. But um, I'm looking forward to the challenge, and I'm excited about it. And then, I'm, you know, playing here and being from the state of Mississippi, I mean, I'm excited. Strong candidate for the full-time job right there. And a report actually surfaced earlier today that Deion Sanders is a candidate for the job. I'm told that will not happen. But again, it's 2020. Who knows? Anything can happen.